Hi, how are you doing, Sagittarius? Um, this is your weekly reading for July 19th to the 25th. This is the only reading where I'm going to light an incense. I don't know why. I just feel the good vibes for Sagittarius. Every other person, you can flip off. I didn't even do an incense for my reading. But I guess Sagittarius, you all need some special treatment for today. Why Sagittarius? I do not know. I do not know. What does Sagittarius need to know for the week of 19th to the 25th? Five of Pentacles. Hmm, somebody feels left out. Uh, Ten of Cups. Wish Fulfillment. Nine of Cups. You could be having somebody in your life who's your wish fulfillment, but they could have left you in the cold, uh, left you feeling on the spot. And uh, now here comes that partner up, that Ten of Cups, that um, union is taking place. In the past, things might not have not went to plan or something didn't work out in the fullest. Let's see. Third parties, you might be having third parties, or your person might be having third parties, um, or other connections to give their energy to. Um, there is a rebuff, it could be somebody who things might have died off with. Is there anything else you tell us next to King of Cups. All right, so Sagittarius. So with the King of Cups, I feel like uh, you having an offer or you presenting somebody with an offer, a stable offer, or you deciding to take a risk with somebody, uh, present them with an offer. With the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Cups, I feel like you're done being left out in the cold. I want this shit to come in my face because it really smells good. I don't know what incense this is. Anyway, with the Ten of Cups to the Seven of Swords, something didn't go to plan. Uh, you might be uh, planning out a union with somebody and something did not truly go as you thought it would. Um, or oh, in the future, the way you want to approach these connections or you want something out of this connection, it's... I get a sense of in the past there might have been a union that was uh, needed or wanted to take place, but it didn't work out in somebody's favor or just something didn't work out. And with the nine of pe with the knight of pentacles, is making somebody want to take action. Somebody want to be bold and courageous to invest time and uh, assets, resources in this. Uh, with the knight of with the king of swords. Uh, you might be a bit defensive of your heart. You might be going through some changes. You not, might not be trying to let everybody in. You might not be trying to let even people get to you. King of Swords is somebody who's hiding off their feelings. Uh, even though inside they're, they're, they're having this spongy heart. You know, which is, what is crazy is like every time somebody uses a sword, somebody's like, I'm not, I'm not letting somebody in. Every time somebody be, becomes protective of their energy, their heart becomes a bit weak, I want to say. It's like you're putting on these layers, these layers. It's just making your heart a bit more, mm, more soft. You know, the more you allow yourself to go through all these changes, the more you allow yourself to immersing feelings that's when your heart becomes stronger because you're feeling things you're experiencing things with the knight of wands i get this energy of um with the knight of wands you might be moving moving towards your person or moving towards this union 
you might be relocating, changing directions. Uh, you might be um, you might be taking some sort of uh, either you're walking or just there's some sense of relocation to just release these buttons you've been holding on to. With the King of Cups followed by the Five of uh, Wands and the Hangman, there might be a situation in love which you might have been a bit holding back your emotions, not trying to be as expressional. However, with the Five of Wands, there's a big need for you to get in touch with your head, you know, have that mental conflict, have that chaos. With the Hangman, seek out new perspectives uh, or just try to give this situation another look. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, I get a sense of new beginnings, new cycles. And uh, with the Empress, this is it leaves you in a position of healing. You know, you're no longer holding back, you're no longer um, gathering up your feelings. Rather, you're feeling loved and feeling that loving energy. And uh, you're feeling healed from these past experiences, you know. Um, whatever you've been holding on to the past, about time you let it go, barriers, barriers you've been putting up, it's about time you let them go. Uh, travel, just if you have to release something, if you have to release some mental um, conflicts, let them go. Uh, with Knight of Pentacles, you might be trying to see a place or situations where you can invest in, where you can place your pentacles for it to become better. But with the King of Swords, I feel like your heart is being a bit defensive because uh, you might have been left out in the cold in a connection or a situation. And uh, it caused you feeling on the spot, it caused you feeling uh, some sort of way. It could be some people are keeping an eye on you, some people are spying on you, some people are trying to see what's up with you. However, all they see is you being happy with your family and connections. And um, yeah, that's it.